Hi everybody, this is Lara with your end of the week video for US oil for the trading week ending Friday 10th of July. I still expect oil has found a major sustainable low, my bearish alternate ideas were invalidated and the only wave count left now for oil at the monthly and weekly chart level is bullish. Along the way up there will be pullbacks and consolidations along the way. Oil has hit a zone of really strong resistance and I am expecting a multi-week pullback to begin at any week and it looks like it's beginning slowly as oil forms a slow curved rounded top. Let's take a look at the Elliott wave analysis first, classic analysis last. The Elliott wave count expects that a three step back pattern is complete and should now be followed by a five step forward pattern. The simplest Elliott wave structure is a five step pattern labelled one, two, three, four, five. Here's an example in the opposite direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's some core Elliott wave rules around this pattern. 3 cannot be the shortest, 4 can't move into 1, 2 can't move beyond the start of 1, and it's not a rule but a guideline, 5 should move beyond the end of 3. And so for this in bull market for oil, 1, 2 hasn't moved beyond the start of 1, now 3 has begun, 3 needs to move beyond the end of 1, it cannot, it cannot be the shortest of 1, 3 and 5 and it has to move far enough above the end of 1 so that 4 can then unfold and remain above wave 1 price territory. I don't have a target for super cycle wave 3 because I'm not I don't have enough data going back far enough for oil to tell exactly where super cycle wave 1 began so I can't apply a Fibonacci ratio between 1 and 3. All I can tell you right now is that 3 needs to move substantially above this price point if this wave counts correct. But that's going to take decades. It's a long term bull market. Let's take a look at how it may be beginning to unfold at the weekly chart level with this low here. Is this point down here? Super cycle wave 3 may only subdivide as an impulse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will be labelled at cycle degree. 1, when it's over, should be followed by a big downward movement for 2, which may not move beyond the end of 1. Sorry, the start of 1. 3 then needs to move beyond the end of 1. And then 4 needs to unfold and remain above wave 1 price territory. And then 5 needs to unfold and should move beyond the end of 3. Let's take a look at how 1 is starting at cycle degree beginning down here at 10.24 at the daily chart level. Cycle wave 1 may be incomplete with primary wave 1 could be over here and primary wave 2 could be continuing as a flat correction subdividing 3, 3, 5. A target for intermediate C is for it to reach 1.618 times the length of intermediate A. Intermediate C subdividing as a 5 wave structure at minor degree, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, needs to continue lower. Primary 2 may not move beyond the start of primary 1, below 10.24. If this target is not low enough, then primary 2 may reach lower to the 0 0.382 Fibonacci ratio of primary 1 or 0.618. Let's take a look at another way at the daily chart level of labelling this upward movement. It's all the same to this point here and here. Actually, sorry, it's no, it's not. I think that's the third chart. Okay, the next chart's going to label this piece of movement differently. It is all the same to this point down here and here and here. And now instead of 3 and 4 being over here, what if 3 was further extended and 4 and what if 5 ended here? What if primary wave 1 was over here and primary 2 then begins? Primary 2 may correct to the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio. It may subdivide as a zigzag, that's the most common Elliott wave structure. They are labelled A, B, C and zigzag subdivide 5, 3, 5. Intermediate A may be an incomplete 5 wave structure. And a third way of labelling this, primary wave 1 could be incomplete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a bit of a visual illusion in here. 3 looks a lot longer than 1 because it is in terms of duration, but in terms of price distance moved, it's actually a bit shorter than 1. 
One of those core Elliott wave rules states that three may not be the shortest out of one, three and five. Sometimes that's misinterpreted to say that three has to be the longest. It's pretty clear though, the rule is clear, three cannot be the shortest. Sometimes it's shorter than one, and when that happens, that means that five is limited to no longer than equality in length with three. For this wave count, that price point is at 54.33. And so the conclusion is I will expect a trend change in the start of a multi-week pullback at or before this price point if it hasn't begun already. Classic analysis now. At the weekly chart level, there's a strong zone, a really clustered strong zone of resistance that oil is moving into, so it's not surprising it's starting to curve and starting to slow down. Strong resistance about here, just above about 42 at the weekly chart level, and volume is declining, so there's a bit of weakness in this upward movement. This looks like a nice strong V bottom, a couple of bullish candlestick reversal patterns here, and strong hammer patterns, a selling climax. Downward trend reached extreme, ATR increased as price fell, that's normal for this market, and at the lows, RSI reached fairly deeply into oversold and then exhibited quite clear and strong bullish divergence between the lows here. All of that leads to the view that this is a sustainable low, but it's unsurprising to see this recovery in price here come into some slowing momentum as it starts to curve around and touches resistance. At the daily chart level, we've got resistance above about 42, support now about 35, price is now range bound, it's been moving essentially sideways for a couple of weeks. Volume is quite light and flat, ADX is declining, there's no clear trend anymore at this time frame, there for a little while there was an upward trend in place. ATR declining as price rises, there is some weakness. On balance volume remains within a weak range. A breakout of this range may indicate the next direction for price. Either way, RSI is in neutral territory as the stochastics just. RSI exhibiting a little bit of bearish divergence back here between price highs also supports the view that oil may be curving around for a deeper pullback. That's all for me this week with your oil analysis. I hope all our members are having a fantastic weekend and I hope that you are all staying safe and well.